Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Blue. I should now pet my dog over there. His name's Jasper, it's the spring of Spaniel. He can be as sprightly as anyone, sleepy in the next, and then the next minute eat a steak pie. But, you know, he's my dog, I love him. And the like. So now we're off to train Pokemon and stuff. So which way are we going? Oh no! Wild Pokemon battle! So, in wild Pokemon battles, you know, you're not facing a trainer, you're facing an actual Pokemon. Which you could catch, if you have Pokeballs, which we do not. So what we're gonna do is do hit the Rattata for damage. Ow. This may hurt after a time. Rattata Tackle? Tail Whip? No. Rattatas are rat Pokemon. The name doesn't really hide much. Uh, they have one evolution, Raticate. And, uh, you know, they're a Team Rocket thing, if I ever saw it. They don't look too happy. I mean, Rattatas can look sweet at a stretch. Raticates, yeah. Um, they look bitey. So, where are we going? We're on Route 1. The first route, the original route, the route which in Pokemon games is the beginning journey for most Pokemon trainers. Pallet Town to Viridian City. So we're just going to head along here. It's not Dilly Dally, nor Shilly Shally. Ha ha ha! I made you all remember that, didn't I? Oh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Why are you so funny? Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. This guy is awesome. Why, you'll see. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I can give you a sample. Here you go. A free potion! You, sir, deserve a hug, but I cannot give you we also carry Pokeballs for catching my old Pokemon. That, that is why we need to go there. But first we have to go there. Dang it! I'll be coming back to catch you later. I will warn you close to how I do the usual playthrough. The only thing that will return is I will be trying to catch all the Pokemon I can from each area. That's the point of the whole gotta catch them all. Thing. But I will not be over leveling and will do my best to make sure Tight and even. Not tight in a weird way, I think. Does it sound weird? Probably made it sound weird. Ray game 32, and Ray grew to level 7. You go for it, Ray. You do that. Oh, look, it's a person. Oh, dang it! Counter rates up the wazoo today. Wild Rattata appeared. Yeah, yeah. Go, Ray, you're level 7 now. You show that Rattata who's boss. Ow. Oh, really? We gotta do that? Well, I'll tail whip you then. See how you like that then. Tail whip again? Oh! Oh, I see. You're mirroring me? Is that what you're doing? Have some tackle for it then. You ain't got no shebang. Anyway, that goes right there. Let's talk to this person. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit sorry, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. These ledges, you can jump over them. We'll show you in a second, because we're gonna have to go back to Pallet for an event! Dang it! Why you do this to me, game? Why? Time for some tackle! Oh yeah, I, I said it. Alright, you stick with tail. Let's see how that goes. Tackle. And you know what? I'm gonna tackle again! Oh yeah, I'm not changing it up in this. Tackle. That's what you get for being annoying. I'm ready to go to level 8. I swear, I'm not over leveling. Ah! Raise no alarm bubble. Water type move. And dang it! Seriously, game! What do? Dang it! Stop taking traces from Trent! Away! Away! I'll come up with my own! What don't? Bubble. Bubble's an effective water move and critical hit. It's probably. Gust may hurt. Or may not. <laughs> okay. Gust, uh, a Pidgey bird Pokemon. Very typical bird Pokemon. 
you can find them in most of the beginning areas, but what they grow into, they have two stages to them. Pidgeotto, a strong revolution, and Pidgeot. Pidgeot worth getting, in my opinion. And we will be coming back to catch a Pidgey. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Or is it? Maybe not, but still. That was the theme of Route 1, by the way. Each route has a certain theme to it. You okay, Jasper? Sorry, it looks panicked. Hmm. Anyway, this is the theme of Iridian City. That's where we are now. Everything's turned a nice green shade. And trainer tips, they're signs that will appear throughout that work kind of like a tutorial, and that they teach you about the game. Let's read one. The battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points. Power points, not Pokemon points. PP, to reply to PP, rest your tired Pokemon at a Pokemon Center. What's a Pokemon Center? Well, well th this is a Pokemon Center. <laughs> Thanks, game. Handy example at the hand. At hand. Not the hand. Which I think was a deadly assassin organization that appeared in Marvel Comics. I used to read too many comics. Heal your Pokemon! Pokemon Center! Let's head inside. Pokemon Centers are interesting as you can heal your Pokemon here. You can head up to... This machine does not work, even though it's here for some reason. Over here is stuff for if you wanted to link your game and fight someone. It's a PC over there for your personal use. And of course there are always interesting people to talk to. I say interesting. My definition of interest is... Someone wants to speak to me? Joy! Pokemon centers heal your tired, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. Holy. There's a Pokemon center in every town ahead. They don't charge any money either. Every town? Is that one in Lavender Town? Lavender Town we'll get to in, um... Yeah. I forewarn you, it's not gonna be pleasant. You can use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me. So kind! The only guy that wears a hat. For now. There will be more hat wielders later. This first, before we start anything, is. I thought those were readable icons. My mistake! Welcome to the Cable Club. We're making preparations. Please wait. The Cable Club is, uh, of course, the, the place where you go if you want to trade Pokemon with another trainer over a Game Boy Color, or fight another trainer over a Game Boy Color. Uh, this won't work here, as obviously I'm on my own, and we're on our own. Yeah, sorry, that's all I got. This is the nurse joy of the series, because there's always one person exactly the same, though it appears to be a woman in mourning, for this case. Welcome to our Pokemon Center! We you heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Why? Well, we've got nothing else to do. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Okay, we'll need your Pokemon. One? Yes! A one Pokemon. So awesome. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Oh, isn't that nice? Let's see. Let's access the PC. PCs here are different than the ones you'll find at, uh, well, most places. For now, we only access my PC. Access my PC. Access item storage system. And, uh, you know, there's certain items the same as they were at the house. You can take an item out, you can leave one on the PC, you can throw one away, or you can log off. Someone's PC, access someone's PC, is the Pokemon storage system, where you can withdraw a Pokemon, deposit a Pokemon, let a Pokemon out into the wild, change the box if you've got a lot of Pokemon, or just say bye. We'll log off as we've got nothing to do with the PC yet. We'll be using it more as time goes on. So let's head out. And explore Viridian City. Viridian City, the eternally green paradise. Now, you can go along this way, which is the way to a certain place which we will actually be looking at relatively soon. But for now, we're just going to explore the city. We need more Pokemon anyway. There's Pokeballs at your waist! You have Pokemon! It's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere! Such a charmer. Viridian City is the first city you visit outside the Power Tower. It's rather big for a city, considering there's more than one building. 
You want to know about the two kinds of caterpillar Pokemon? We'll say yes. As he says no, it's just the derivative of, oh, alright. But we'll all say yes. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch out for its poison sting. We'll be catching a Caterpie and Weedle as, you know, they're cool and they're relatively easy to evolve, so we'll be evolving them quickly. If you come in here, this is the Pokemon Mart. I think it's the same theme as the Pokemon Center. But unfortunately, we can't buy anything as an event is about to occur. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? Yeah, Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Well, have you got Oak's Parcel? Don't open it. So we can say hi. Okay, say hi to Professor Oak for me. He will not let you buy anything till you do the event, which is a clever way of saying you can know has Pokemon. Yeah, what? Wasn't a great thing on my part to say that, was it? This shop sells many antidotes. Antidotes are something to help if your Pokemon is poisoned on the move and you cannot reach your Pokemon Center, or do you not want to. Wow, tons of Pokemon stuff! Indeed, there are indeed tons of Pokemon stuff. <clears throat> There's another person here, let's talk to him. No! Potions are all sold out! Potions, of course, help you if you're in trouble. Odd, really. I guess the only potion they had left went to the sample guy. As, uh, you cannot buy potions from that shop. Only Pokeballs. Let's go in here. This is some sort of school, by the way. Try to memorize all my notes. There's this person, a teacher. Not really the sure. I always thought her hair was some sort of turban. I thought that would have been pretty cool. Apparently it's not. That's her hair. The one at the front. So let's look at her notes. Why? Because we're <laughs> just that kind of person. Looked at the notebook. Dun dun da 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 First page. Pokeballs are used to catch Pokemon. I will question the logic of that, but I think we all know how obvious that was. So we'll move on! Up to six Pokemon can be carried. You can only carry six Pokemon at a time. If you go beyond that, they're sent to someone's PC. We'll meet someone later. We will meet more people, but we'll meet the someone someone. You knew what I meant. People who raise and make Pokemon fight are called Pokemon Trainers. I could also question that they're also called Proprietors of Animal Cruelty, but we'll pass that up for now. Let's turn the page. Second page. A healthy Pokemon may be hard to catch, so we can first. Poison burns and other damage are effective. Turn the page? Well, why not? Status effects happen with certain moves. For example, Weedle, uh, Leon, as mentioned, can poison you if Poison Sting is either used enough or hits just right. It just happens sometimes. I think there's a percentage chance of doing something for everything. There are mathematical equations involved for calculating chances of doing certain things in any game. Third page. Pokemon trainers seek others to engage in Pokemon fights. Battles are constantly fought at Pokemon gyms. That's where we're going. To, we have to fight at eight gyms, defeat eight gym leaders, and then what happens on the fourth page is what will happen next. The goal for Pokemon trainers is to beat the top eight Pokemon gym leaders. Do so to earn the right to face the Elite Four of Pokemon League. Who are the Elite Four? We'll leave that for a while. Go. Hey, don't look at my notes! I'm conveniently interrupting at the point where it gets interesting. Of course. Let's talk to this lady. Okay! Be sure to read the blackboard carefully. Blackboard over here we're going to have a look at, despite the fact how she knew we were going to look at the blackboard, I don't know why she's okay with it. The blackboard describes Pokemon's status changes during battles. So we'll look at them quickly. Let's look at Sloop, which actually stands for Sleep. A Pokemon can attack that's asleep, which I guess is kind of obvious, unless it, you know, dream electrocuted people, or, you know, dreamed of hitting someone with a mega punch and then punch them in the face. That might hit the trainer, which would hurt. The Ash can, it seems to be electrocuted in the anime and he's alright. Anime physics. Ho <laughs> ho. Yeah. Pokemon will stay asleep even after battles. Use Awakening to wake them up. Awakening, again, the item you can buy a shop to wake them up. Sleep may wear off after a time, but it may not. Poison, or Poison. Which heading do you want to read? We've covered Poison a lot, but let's look at Poison anyway. When Poison, a Pokemon's health steadily drops. It also laughs outside the battle. 
Poison lingers after battles, using an antidote to cure poison. Some of these status effects will stop after battles, which is why you have to either go to a Pokemon Center or use an item on hand. It's especially useful for Indeed when you get to the Elite Four and status effects might last after a battle to have items like these. Par, which actually stands for Paralysis. Paralysis could make Pokemon's moves misfire. Paralysis remains after battle. Paralysis actually does a bit more than that. Po it doesn't necessarily affect accuracy, it sometimes stops your Pokemon from using a move at all. And it keeps them frozen in place, which means they're literally paralysed. It's usually inflicted by Pokemon that are of a Thunder type. Sleep, usually by Pokemon of a Psychic type, or sometimes by Pokemon that have Spore attacks, where they can affect you with certain spores. Poison, the Poison Pokemon. Simple enough. Paralysis Marines after battles can use Paralyze Heal, or Paralyze Heal, the healer. Brewing stands for Burn. Actually, it's only one letter of a burn reduces power and speed. It also causes ongoing damage. Burn remains after battles. Ho <laughs> ho. Use burn heal to cure a burn. I don't think sleep remains after battles, I'm not quite sure. Burns usually occur from fire Pokemon, exclusively to fire Pokemon. So, it usually happens on an on and off chance if you use a powerful fire move, but I, again, I'm not sure of the mechanics of the game. Finally, let's look at Brits, which I guess you can understand is the Ice Pokemon move Freeze. Well, it's not a move, it's exclusive to Ice Pokemon. If frozen, a Pokemon becomes totally immobile. It stays frozen even after the battle ends. Use Ice Heal to pour out Pokemon. By the fact how you'd fit a block of ice in a Pokemon, despite the fact that the ice isn't exclusive to the Pokemon's sense of being, I don't know. But we could question it, but let's leave it alone for now. Ooh, it's a lot of talking. Well, let's play works, maybe a little bit. Now, if we head up here, the only other house we can visit is this one here. We'll head in, because we have to end the part in a second. Oh, look, it's a Pokemon. Let's talk to this girl. My daddy loves Pokemon, too. Duh. Here we have a Sphery. T-Tweet. Yes, I just said T-Tweet. I'm a bit weird, aren't I? Coming up with nicknames is fun, but hard. Simple names are the easiest to remember. So why that's Spearow? Because it's a Spearow. We'll meet a Spearow later, because I will intend to catch one, but still. Spearow. Named Spearow. Yes, there is a board dedicated to that. A town map. So we aren't that far from Pallet Town. Viridian City, Pallet Town. Along here, by the way, or the left, we will show in a second. Our next journey is along Route 2, which will take us to the Viridian Forest. Diglett's Cave we will not be visiting quite yet. We'll talk about Diglett's Cave later. Our next city to visit is Pewter City. But we have to head back to Pallant Town first. Because something's blocking our way. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. He hasn't had his coffee yet. What's happening to your coffee? Watch! You can't go through here! This is private property! Oh, the echoes of police state there I could talk about, but I guess are kind of obvious. Private property. Actually, there are some laws in London that stop you from taking photos of buildings because they believe you're a terrorist. It's called the Terrorism Act. Uh, and it allows people to come up and ask you something like, uh, I want to see your camera, who are you, why are you here? And even though we're sidetracking, I find that a disturbing invasion of freedom if you're just taking a picture. I can understand the threat, but it's a case of sacrificing freedom for security. And that is an invasion of free will. I don't think I'm being brave, I'd be scared if a cop came up to me and asked me that as well. I'd probably, you know, let them search, but yeah. To avoid our usual overlapping or leveling blah 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 answer, I'll show you that you can jump over fences. Whoops. Ah, oh, dang it! Little Pidgey. Wild Pidgey appeared. Go, Ray. Let's do this thing! Suddenly getting stronger. 
I'm Bob. We've reached the 20 minute mark, so after this we're going to end the recording and then we'll move on to the next part. There's still a few more parts coming up. Don't worry if you're actually somehow enjoying this. Irregardless, EXP. See you in the next part, chums.